understood in a way that if they had been simply um, dumped on the internet, uh, they, they wouldn't have done. And that, that act of, of simultaneous publication, I, I think, had great power. I, I can't think of a story um, generated by newspapers which has been discussed around the world simultaneously, simultaneously in the way that these, these, these documents were. Bill and I had a discussion about this in which I, 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 Bill challenged me on that thought and, 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 and said, actually, Actually, if they had been released, we, we kind of know now that actually there is a way that, that, that people swarm onto data and find things that we wouldn't have found, that, I'm, that must, must be right. That, that, that people would have and in future when these documents become more available we'll find things that we've missed. The one exercise we tried uh, on The Guardian was to do a bit of crowdsourcing so we did, um, we did ha having published everything that we could find that we thought was interesting we said what, what do you think you've missed? Uh, and help us find things uh, and that was an interesting exercise we had about 3,000 replies with people saying you know, look to this particular period or this particular issue or this particular country uh, and that, that did surface some things but actually not as much as we thought it would so I, I think I, I do think and you might expect me to say this as a newspaper editor but I think the act of the involvement of newspapers gave the story a credibility and a clarity uh, and, a, and, a, and a, um, a focus that it would have lacked. Um, but as I say, on the redaction, that really didn't take much time to think about. One big part of uh, the success of this, um, of the publication of, of WikiLeaks documents by our newspapers so, was that we made the selections and the redaction and that we were very selective in fact and, and the fact that we selected them and that we put them in context and uh, added our own expertise to them gave them credibility um, and in that sense I think this is one more consequence of, of this uh, um, event that is uh, very positive, it's that it kind of rehabilitated um, the work of uh, traditional newspapers or mainstream newspapers as in, in America. I think I'll just echo what the others have said. I mean, we edited bueno, this material in two ways. We applied este journalism to it, you know, uh, context, no information, expertise, o sea, uh, and we applied judgment as to whether these documents could do damage. And it's probably worth just underscoring that we applied our judgment. We did not surrender that, this, those decisions to the United States government or anybody else. We consulted with them or there and you. Uh, for or against uh, the publication of particular items of information, but in the end, they were our decisions. And on a few occasions, we, we did not reach a total consensus. Um, I've been asked a few times, you know, if there is any. Disculpen, pero se va el sonido. Hay algún problema con el sonido? No llega el sonido a la cabina. Okay. okay. I think Julian Assange sabotaged Creo my microphone. Julian Assange, <coughs> um, uh, and, and the one small thing that, uh, that I have to say I regret Una is that we didn't think of what Alan did no first, the idea of trying, Alan, trying a bit of crowdsourcing on the, uh, on the readers and inviting them to send in information. I thought that was uh, excellent, regardless of whether it produced big stories or not. Uh, it was a kind of web savvy that we all can learn from. Todos podemos aprender de, de este bueno, conocimiento una, de Un tema que sí me gustaría explorar eh, eh, son las diferencias de percepción pública que quizás se han producido, o tengo yo la impresión que se han producido a ambos lados del Atlántico eh, a propósito de la publicación de, de los papeles secretos. Yo creo, por lo menos aquí en España, y creo que también fue así un poco en el Reino Unido, eh, antes hablando con Silvi, creo que en Francia no era exactamente así. Bueno, eh, había una parte de nuestros lectores, una parte de la sociedad eh, que nos exigían eh, 
lo que ellos definían como más transparente. Querían que se publicase todos los cambios de forma inmediata eh, en su totalidad. De alguna manera, además, eh, el reproche era, pero ¿cómo se atreven ustedes a, a no publicar todo lo que tienen? ¿Cómo se atreven incluso a redactar o a tachar nombres de los cables? Aquí, tengo la sensación, pero vi igual aquí me equivoco, que en Estados Unidos eh, quizás sentía, sentía un poco más de presión en el sentido contrario, es decir, de, pero ¿cómo se atreven ustedes a publicar estos cables o a publicar este material. Yo ¿no? me gustaría ver si eso es así efectivamente. Yo creo que luego en España esa presión la hemos sentido. Y dos, eh, ¿qué revelan, qué muestran eh, ese, ese, ese tipo digamos, de presiones diferentes que creo que hemos vivido en Europa y en Estados Unidos? Well, both Alan and I Tanto went Alan online como yo, shortly after uh, después, the first batch of uh, WikiLeaks documents, the Afghanistan de WikiLeaks, war Afganistan. records, um, bueno, pues, went online to answer questions from readers, and mine tended to be along the lines of, how dare you, um, aren't you putting lives at risk, etc., etc., and Alan tended to be along the lines of, how dare you redact these documents, publish them all, um, which probably says something about the different expectations and sort of ideo ideological balances of our, uh, of our readership. Um, although I found that as time went on and people actually read Uh, what we were reporting about the documents and read the documents that we posted, uh, the, the sort of objections that we were, um, you know, doing significant damage to the national interest and for whatever uh, seemed to recede, uh, and people realized, well, some people made the, uh, I think, fatuous argument that these aren't very interesting because we knew all this, um, um, but, most, but an awful lot of people who had been initially alarmed by them actually found, found that they were constructive and interesting and illuminating, uh, and any time you can get people to read more about international relations, I, I think you've struck a blow for you know, democracy and civilization. You said, well, there was the reaction that you had in France, right? You get more pressure in the sense that you have to publish all the wires, right? The total list. The forma completa, sin redactar. Y sin embargo me comentabas que no, que no había sido. Without redacting, but in France that wasn't it, right? Porque tenemos un estado fuerte en Francia. Tenemos una tradición estatal bastante fuerte y la, la, muchos um, lectores del periódico, particularmente del periódico, no tanto del website, pero del periódico, um, no, no podían entender que pusiéramos en, en público así tantos secretos de Estado y hubo, um, hubo reacciones como pero el Estado tiene que protegerse el gobierno tiene derecho a protegerse y qué están, qué están haciendo um, fue particularmente la primera semana fue los primeros días fueron bastante tensos en, en, en el debate público um, varios um, Um, altos funcionarios o, o um, uh, antiguos uh, ministros de asuntos exteriores, por ejemplo, um, salieron en televisión, en radio, en varios medios de comunicación, protestando a lo que estábamos haciendo. Um, el, el ministro de Industria intentó uh, prohibir, porque cuando Amazon dejó de de albergar el, el uh, Wikileaks uh, hubo un, un, una empresa francesa que um, decidió albergar a, 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 a Wikileaks entonces el ministro francés um, de industria intentó prohibir esto pero no, no logró porque una, un tribunal decidió que no, no era posible legalmente y entonces 
intentó otra vez so luchar con esta decisión y eh, empezó trámites para, para eh, conseguir esta, esta interdicción pero eso no, nunca sucedió, nunca no, porque la, la, la justicia no, lo, no le dejó. Uh, e incluso intentó conseguir el apoyo del gobierno americano en esta trámite y el, dejó a la embajada americana que el, 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 el gobierno americano no, no, quiso, no quiso apoyarle. Entonces eso fue interesante como reacción del Estado. Uh, después de una semana el debate fue bastante fuerte y nosotros nos defendimos mucho y, y después de una semana sentimos un cambio de, de ambiente y creo que ya en la segunda semana de publicación de, de los documentos, de los memos, uh, ya habíamos ganado el argumento. Creo. Y la, las cartas y los emails de protestación fueron más, uh, uh, mucho menos fuertes. Y, y otra vez lo que fue muy impresionante es que la, la, el público del website de Le Mans era mucho más supportivo de, de, lo que, de lo que hacíamos, más que el lector tradicional, sí, sí, que es más pro-establishment. Sí. Well, I think we all have to face up to the fact that it was... Tenemos que admitir que fue más difícil para Bill que para in, nosotros, in way, ¿no? porque um, eran secretos de Bill, no eran uh, nuestros secretos. Y una de las razones por las que tenemos tanta confianza en el New York Times es que Bill es un editor con un track record de tomar algunas decisiones bastante gutsy en términos de publicar material que sabe que los estados no van a aprobar. Así que creo que Bill fue al final de esta presión de presión. Um, uh, but it was useful to have that, that, that sort of voice in the room uh, and it, I think it's, it, it's a measure of how much the world has changed since we began this um, uh, ad adventure the, the, one of the hardest decisions we had to take as a, as a group was, was whether to publish the cables about Yemen that, that was the, the subject um, uh, on which the American government felt most strongly, not, not on grounds of endangering any particular individual, but just on grounds of, of the political effect. Um, and they, they made a very strong argument that, that Yemen was in the front line of, of the, 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 the fight against terror and that, that by undermining the government in Yemen we would be uh, uh, responsible for, for weakening the, this fight against terror. And we collectively gave serious consideration to that and we decided collectively Uh, that we would publish, um, and I think now that now that looks completely completely the right decision. In fact, it looks odd. Would, would, we, we, we would have decided that. But so, it, 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 so I think that comes back to what Bill was saying about these were journalistic decisions that we were taking, in which we were saying our role is different from government. And in the end, I certainly thought that was an issue of political embarrassment uh, and, and one that, as journalists, we, we shouldn't take because that took you into all kinds of areas about not writing about things in the Middle East that, 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 that should have been written about. I mean, more generally, the, the, the fact is that without total transparency, if one, once you've taken that decision that there are some things that you publish, then of course you're always going to be attacked for those judgments. And you're either going to be attacked for, for publishing the things or for not publishing things. In fact, there was a very uh, bizarre piece in Pravda this week that, that said the, the, the Guardian was a front for the CIA. Um, Redacted so much. Um, uh, and that, that me, as a, as documentos, an argument as, as any else I've heard in this, in this, uh, in this uh, 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 uh,
In spite of everything we've a pesar done, de todo lo que hemos hecho el trabajo que hemos hecho con los Wikileaks critics, uh, we've been según estos críticos and found no pensáis que se nos está juzgando ¿no? por el well, papel there, que hemos desempeñado bueno, hay algo en todo este episodio it may be, this is where the personality of, of Julian Assange comes in but, but there, there is something Julian about Julian Assange, Assange hay algo that en makes people Assange either want to worship him or regard him as the devil And, and you get people who think he is some kind of messiah that is going to sort of save the world or, or that he's a devil who's going to destroy the world. And so it's become a very polarized debate and of course the most uncomfortable place is to believe neither. So if you're in the middle of this and you think he's not the messiah but he's not the devil then you get attacked from both sides. Well, it's happened, yes. I don't want to add what the reaction of the German government was before it was no pretty similar to what you heard about, about what happened in Spain or in France. Um, 